time. Um, this illustration here just gives you a little sense of breadth of the cloud AI platform that, that we built. Um, the key characteristics of the platform that we've developed. You gotta hold it up high, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Um, so this is a little demo of the platform going on in the background, but we're a little bit different from other people. Um, most of the people on our team have spent the last 15, 20 years in the DOD and the US intelligence community. And so when we build an intelligence uh, data fusion center with analytics and we do, think we do things a little bit differently. Uh, first and foremost, we've been doing data management for the last 20, 25 years, bringing together all different modalities of data, bringing together um, structured, unstructured, semi-structured data, and building seamless data models for those. Um, another major category that we focus on quite a bit in our platform is security. This can be cybersecurity, controls on servers, controls on devices. Um, but for us, really, what it means is a complete defense in depth architecture that includes data level security. Data level security means that if you have data that you need to protect, PII, PHI, PCI data, anything that has um, other compliance requirements associated with it, like Sarbanes Oxley or HIPAA, um, you can implement out of the box in this platform on day one. Um, so list all the different standards that we need out of the box, including FISMA High, S800. Um, as you look at the user interface here in the background, and you can, we're in booth 416, just out to the left of the door here. One of the things you're gonna notice is that we're doing things a little bit differently on the UI front. Um, we've been doing web-based development for the last 15 years or so, and uh, one of the problems that we've encountered with that is you can't get very much data into the environment. You're limited by the JavaScript libraries that you're using, and um, very frequently, we want to be able to actually interact with our data. So this year, what we've done is we've actually dumped the web browser in exchange for the Unity Gaming Engine. Um, so our, our product is now completely re-envisioned with the Unity Gaming Service um, as our front-end capability. What that enables us to do is it enables us to, um, <clears throat> it enables us to provide new types of visualizations that support beyond the subject matter, or I'm sorry, beyond the expert level AI practitioner. What we're really focused on doing at Lucid is enabling business experts and non, uh, you know, coding, machine learning, AI practitioner experts to get into the system, do something with the data, train models against the data. Um, so by having this all touch enable, uh, by making it all uh, visual, by eliminating all of the notebooking and, and uh, programming that you would normally have to do in a large scale environment, um, we believe we can do that. So I'm going to stop right there.